Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Mrs. Fairy's music class. Wait a minute. That's not me. That's Max. Max, get out of my chair. Get out of my chair. Come on down here. The boys and girls want to see me teach music, although maybe they'd rather see Max. Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Miss Fairy's music class. That was Max the dog, and I'll probably show him to you more in future lessons. Now, let's get started. Let's just pretend that we're getting started, and you might want to bring in a few friends with you if you want to, to help join in the music lesson. Maybe you can teach them some songs that we're going to learn today. We're going to start with something that we always started music class with to get our voices warmed up and ready to sing. We're going to start with Hello There. Here we go. Oh, it's kitty gone. Are you ready, boys and girls? Hello there. How are you? It's so good to see you. this lesson more than one time. You can watch it as many times as you want to. And if you want to, go get some friend to help you with the music lesson if you want to. All right, so I've got a dog and I've got a cat here that's going to help me with our next song. Our next song is called It's So Good to See You. And it is good to see you. I'm just pretending that you're there on the other side of the camera. I do miss you guys, and I wish you were here. So, the way this song goes is I'm going to use some instruments, and I'm going to move my friends over to the side right now. One of the earlier lessons I gave you was to make your own instrument. So, for this portion of the lesson, you might want to bring that in. Always ask mom and dad or whoever you live with to, if they, if they can give you permission to bring anything to the table to watch the video. So I've got my little basket of goodies here and I'm going to pull out some things. So um, I made a video where we made a drum and I have a tin can here and I have uh, some Clark's wipes container and that's going to be my drum. Uh, and then, okay, um, I've got some other things we're going to pull out here, and we will start the video. The first time we're going to do it without any instruments, and then we're going to add some instruments that I made this week. And then some more stuff that in case uh, you didn't have what I had, I thought I would pull some more things in and see what we could do. But first, this is called, It's So Good to See You, We Don't Need Anything Other Than You. To sing this song. Here it is. Oh, hello Max. He's come back to take over my class again. All right, so this is It's So Good to See You. Here we go. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Would you clap? Good job. 
the same song, but we're going to add some of the instruments. And if you made an instrument this week, um, get your instrument. And we're going to now, we're going to add some. So I'm going to say drums first, and I'm going to use these two things as my drums. Something else, some kids texted me or emailed me that they didn't have what I had at my home, but you can use just about anything. You could use a Pepsi bottle that's left over, or a Coke, or you could use a mixing bowl, you could use a can of Pringles. This also doubles as my maraca. And let's see, I got an empty box and I'm gonna tap on the box. And the box is also a nice good drum. And this just happened to be a, a, a box I had left over from Christmas. That makes a really good drum. And then something else that I did was I went out and got um, the lid to a pot. And uh, you can use your pot if you want to bang on the pot for noise. We could pretend that that's a triangle. Even though it's a circle, we can pretend it's a triangle. All right, so those are some of the things we have. Uh, now, each verse, we're going to switch to a different instrument. So, for the first verse, I'm going to say, would you tap your drum and count to eight? And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the next verse, so I'm going to move that aside since I don't need that. The next verse, I'm going to take my pot lid and I'm going to say, would you tap your triangle and count to eight? Um, you just improvise with whatever you have at your house and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I thought, okay, so what else might boys and girls have at their house? And I thought something that makes noise. So unexpected. So here is a leftover pumpkin. And that makes a nice noise. Or I could do my dog's toy. And here he comes because he thinks it's for him. And now the other thing I have is I got my dog's snake. And I like that. That was I like that one. So I'm gonna use my dog's toy. I'm sure Max and Elsa won't mind if I use their toy for you guys to have a lesson. So this will be the third verse. Now I need one more sound for the fourth verse. So let me look in my bag here and I have the maraca that I made earlier this week. And I also have the little box that I had that I put some beans in. So I'm going to use this on the fourth verse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, do you have your instruments ready? All right, here we go. It's so good to see you. Let me get them in line here. Okay, it's all new to me, this teaching from home, just like it is for you, but we'll do our best. Here we go. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Would you tap your drum? to see. 
can change that around to lots of different things. You could also use a glass to tap, mom's permission or dad's permission. Tap lightly. I would suggest maybe with if you have a plastic fork or a spoon. Or that would make a great noise too. But remember, you've got to ask permission from your parents. So I'm going to do the song again, and I'm going to switch out for some different things that you might have around your house. So we used the Clorox can the first time. So this time, I'm going to start with the water glass. And then I'm going to add, uh, let's see. My husband brought me this pipe from out in our garage. So here's an old piece of pipe that we're going to use for one of our sounds. And I'm just using a pen to tap on it. So that's our first verse. This will be our second verse. And let's see. I got a paper bag. And I'm going to put some of these in my paper bag. And I'm going to make a sound here. If you have a paper bag at home. You could do that too. You might want to take... Tape it shut. I have big hands, so I can hold it close, but you might want to tape your paper bag shut before you shake it, and it goes all over the house. Okay, so we've got glass, pipe, paper bag. Now let's get something with maybe a deeper sound, a lower sound. So I'm going to use this, and this is something that some of you might have around your house. It is... Let's see what the clothes basket sounds like. Ah, I don't know what it sounds like on your end, but on my end, it has a nice deeper sound. So we'll use the clothes basket whoops, for number four. All right, so here we go. It's so good to see you one more time. Glass, pipe, paper bag, clothes basket. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Would you tap your glass and count to eight? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now, use whatever you want. I'm going to use a pipe. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Would you tap your pipe and count to eight? Five, six, seven, eight. And again. stuff around your house I'm sure that you could use instead and if you don't even want to use an instrument you could take a stuffed animal or whatever you have a truck a doll oh I don't know a sock puppet and you could say can you count to um can you count to and count to eight one two three four five six seven eight did you like that yes we did okay our last song today is going to be the Good Day song. And in the Good Day song, we're going to have some animals that are going to come out and say good day. I'm going to have a dog, a cat, a cow, and a pig. And I didn't have uh, a pig, but I do have, I mean, I don't have a cow, but I do have a pig. Hold on, let me grab it. I'm coming back. Here we go. I got my pig. Somebody, this is one of those things that you have in the window, and it wags its, I mean, it, it has its wings go up and down. So, I only just, I just don't have a cow. But, you don't have to have these things to sing this song. You can do anything you want to to help you sing along. You can have a stuffed animal with you, or nothing at all. It's all up to you. 
So our next song is called the Good Day Song. We have our cat in the first verse. There's a dog in the second verse. There's a pig in the third verse. And the, I'm sorry, there's a cow in the third verse, which I don't have a cow. And there's a pig in the fourth verse. And if you don't have any of these animals, don't worry about it. You can just pretend along with me. I never had these animals. Cool. We just sing the words. All right, here we go. This is called the Good Day Song. Oh, that is not it. Just like school. Here we go. Okay, here it is, the Good Day Song. too. And dynamics means, when you're talking about dynamics, you're talking about the volume of the music, whether it's loud or whether it's soft. And when it's soft, we say piano. And that comes from the Italian word uh, piano, which means soft in Italian. Now, a lot of you think of a uh, piano as an instrument. So it has two meanings. It's an instrument that you can play, and it's also an Italian word meaning soft. Because when the piano was first invented, it could be played loud and soft. And that was kind of new at the times. So before then, they'd had a harpsichord, and all harpsichords kind of had the same volume, the same loudness. But then when they invented the piano, it could be loud or soft. In fact, it's... Um, it used to be called, well, in the very, very beginning, they had a really long word, and then they shortened it to pianoforte because soft and loud. And then they just shortened it even more to just piano. So P is for piano, and F is for forte, and we know that song from our previous lesson. So we're going to talk about what instruments are loud and what instruments are soft. So let's see. I'm going to take my lid here. Do you think this is loud or soft? Oh, my, my husband just walked in. He thought it was the dinner bell. <laughs> it's definitely loud enough for him to hear in the next room. But no, it's not dinner time. So this is our going to be a loud instrument. Would you say this is loud or soft? I think that's kind of soft. What about this? Would this be loud or soft? I think soft. Okay, what about my box here? 
I'm going to take a metal spoon. Ooh, that's definitely loud. Or in Italian, they would say forte. Okay, so we're going to ask you to sing this song again. And I want you to practice. You decide whether you want to make the dog forte or loud. Or do you want to make the cat forte or loud? Or do you want the dog to be soft, piano, or the cat to be soft, which the Italian word for that is piano. So we're going to do forte and piano, and we'll see which one you choose on your own at your house to do. Let's do the song one more time, and we'll do loud and soft. Let's start loud. When cats get up in the morning, they always say good day, oh cats. When cats get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say meow, 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 meow. That is what they say. That was soft. Meow, 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 meow. That is what they say. Thank you, Miss Kitty. Now, my dog is loud. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. Loud dynamics. Get up Always say good day. Bork, 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 bork. That is what they say. They say bork, 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 bork. That is what they say. Thank you, Mr. Dog. All right, now I'm going to do the dinner bell. When cats get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, they always say Day. Come to dinner. That is what they say. They say. That is what they say. What shall I end with? When they get up in the morning, they always say good day. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. Okay, boys and girls, remember that loud is forte in Italian and soft is piano in Italian. And when we're talking about loud or soft, we're talking about the musical word dynamics. Dynamics is the musical word when you're talking about how loud or soft the music is. Well, thank you for taking the time to come see me today. I hope you had a good time, and I hope to see you soon. Until next time, bye. Love you.